Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is going to be the start of a stitching vlog. Yeah, I used to do this a long time ago on my channel and I'm not sure why I stopped. Probably when I stopped cross stitching because there was a long period of time there where I did not stitch. But now I am back into it full force and really loving it. And I thought I would start recording a little snippet every single day putting them together and at the end of the week doing, putting it up all as one video. It'll be easier for me to keep track of like purchases and stuff like that. And we're on a lunch break from work. So, so if you watch my true crimes, you'll know what I'm about to say. So if you watch my videos too, over the past couple days, you'll know that I had bought a counted canvas needlepoint kit all the supplies. <laughs> now, Bill had a cold. He was sick all weekend, so we were in the house and I sat on the sofa with him like all day, you know, Sunday, and wound bobbins and um, tried to draw out the outline of the first square in pencil on the canvas. I said, okay, you know, I'm going to start stitching it when he goes to bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I sit down at 8 o'clock and I start stitching and I'm like, I fucking hate this. Why do I hate it? Like, I loved this counted canvas needlepoint seven, eight years ago. Six, seven years ago. I mean, I've completed like three or four of them. And I'm like, I'm sitting there and I'm trying to stitch and the pads are bulky that I bought. The thimble pads that I bought for my fingers are bulky. And I'm like, what the actual F is going on? This is horrible. I hate this. And then I spent the next hour trying to think of an alternative fabric to work the needlepoint pattern on. Because, you know, there are no rules in needlepoint. You can do what you want. So I'm like, okay... I went online and looked around and needlepoint is also done on 24 count Congress cloth. 24 fucking count. Like, do I really want to go down there? But 123 Stitch had some, so I ordered a piece of it, but I also ordered a piece of 18 count Ada because remember the canvas is 18 count. So I'm like, maybe I can do it on 18 count Ada. Now I realize that most of the time needlepoint is done on mono canvas because if you're doing like, especially like tent stitch, you can warp the canvas. So I'm guessing if you're doing a needlepoint piece on fabric, you just can't pull that hard, right? Do you know what I'm saying? We'll see. Um, for now, I have the piece in my closet and you know, I don't regret any craft purchases. I said this in my true crime video this morning. Because I think it sometimes takes time and money to find your way, to find what you really love to do. So luckily that was at the beginning of my stitching evening because then I decided to pick up uh, my newest cross stitch project, which is this out of the um, Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. Now remember, I couldn't find this fabric or one like it, I wound up using um, 28 count Sandcastle Joblin. Now, my love for Joblin has been renewed. It has been a couple years since I've stitched on even weave. I went, decided to go to Ada because I was having trouble seeing the holes. Now I wear readers. So I can see the holes just fucking fine now, right? And so, I said, okay, I just, I'm, I'm going to start stitching on this project. So I started stitching on it and I'm like, oh my God, I love, wow. I love Joblin so much. It looks so good. Even weave just looks so good for projects. And now the only part of this project that's really tedious is the back stitch because the back stitch is all the way around and then the spiders. And so I started with that and here's what I got to. Oh, isn't it looking so good though? So yeah, you wouldn't believe that how long that took me to do that. 
<laughs> but um, the hardest part I have is if you look at the back, when you are stitching back stitch like that, where the fuck do you end your thread? What I did was I wound up tucking it and winding it in between because I'm doing long stitches. This is like I did all one except for maybe I did it ended it like twice, I think. But I tried to because I had to count. I tried to do it as long as I could because if you do long stitches for back stitch, it'll look nice and neat, I feel like. So I'm going to work on doing the word hocus. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the word hocus and then I'm going to do this top part and this because I got to tie this web into, um, over here, tie this web into the S and that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to wind up then counting down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. So I did the black on the H. So now I'll do the gray because there's like a gray outline behind it. But I am just loving the Joblin. You know, when I first started stitching, all self-taught, when I first started stitching like seriously, like Nora Corbett, all of that kind of stuff, I, um, they're back on the record, but I have a break for a little bit still. Okay. Um, I stitched all of the Celtic ladies on 28 count Joblin. So I went on one, two, three stitch and ordered a whole bunch of this. Yep, because that's how I roll. Yeah. So you'll see some fabric coming up here. Don't you love the sandcastle though? It is a beautiful neutral. So I actually ordered another fat quarter of this. And I just realized last night when I sat down to stitch. Okay, so Amy from Down Sunshine Lane sent me this needle minder for free because I ordered another one. And it says Witches Brew and I didn't realize the tops of the cup it is hocus pocus, their hair, orange, black, yellow. I'm like, how did I not realize that when I showed my stash and showed the needle minder? Duh. Come on, get with it, Danielle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that is my progress on that. I will continue working on that tonight. And I just checked my mail. So I do have, I received... A pattern and some floss in the mail. Remember, I ordered the floss for this. Primitive Hair's Witch at the Beach. It calls for all over-dyed threads. It calls for Gentle Art Sampler Threads and Weeks Dye Works. So I actually received this is the green for the witch. Isn't it gorgeous? It's grape leaf. You would think that'd be purple, but it's not. And then uniform blue, which is the, some of the words. So I have all the threads. Oh no, I don't. Do I? I do. I have all the threads now. So after I'm done stitching the Hocus Pocus, I can go ahead and stitch this because this is also Banker's Gray. So it's like all of these colors. And then the sand is dirt road and you know I like the variegation of it and then I'm gonna stitch it on this is Ada I might actually order a piece of summer sky Joblin because that's what this is this is summer sky but it's Ada I might order a piece of summer sky Joblin to stitch it on because after hocus pocus this is my plan to stitch this witch at the beach because it is just too fabulous and I've seen Lacey's piece done, and it looks really amazing. And remember, I'm saving up five pieces before I go to um, In Stitches to get it framed. So we'll see. We'll see how that's going to go. And then the last thing that I received was a pattern I ordered off of Etsy. It's Jardin Privé's ABC Halloween. I don't know how I missed this when it came around, but you know that picture doesn't even begin to do that justice. I absolutely love it. I love the little motifs, like the witch's hat, her shoes and her legs, the pumpkins. Yeah. I forget where I bought it, though. I don't know. You could probably get this at a couple places. You don't have to get it on Etsy. But yeah, that was it. That's it. But yeah, today, just fucking irritated. 
So, you know, I've been dying to get my hair done, like the ombre color, right? I scheduled the appointment on fucking June 7th, no, June 16th. They were closing the shop for three weeks for vacation. So my appointment was supposed to be this Wednesday on July 21st. They called me today. And now I'm thinking they're calling me today to confirm my appointment. Eh, wrong. No. My hairstylist is under the weather. And under the weather that she's going to be out the rest of this week. And they don't even know about next week. So get ready. The next available appointment... Friday, August 6th. I'm like, she's like, is that okay? I said, well, I guess it's going to have to be, isn't it? <laughs> then that's exactly what I said. I guess it's going to have to be. And she's like, well, we have another stylist. And I'm like, no, I want my stylist. I like her. Um, and then I hung up the phone and I'm like, fuck me. Like, really? Am I ever going to be able to get my hair done? And then I stop and I think, this is happening for a reason there's a reason that I can't get my hair done right now. I don't know what there's a reason this is happening. And then I'm like, do I try to find another stylist somewhere else? But then I'm like, okay, I have to think about the logistics of me driving to said hairstylist to have it maintained because I'm going to have to go back probably every six weeks to get this maintained. Right? Cause I mean, my hair right now is looking horrible. You can, can you see all the gray? I have horrible gray and like in the back, like I haven't dyed my hair in probably two months because I'm waiting for the fucking appointment. It's like, <sighs> yeah. So August 6th, fingers fucking crossed because that's two weeks. That's two and a half weeks from Wednesday. Another two and a half weeks. Yeah. So. Okay, this, 12 minutes is plenty for this little segment for today. My God, this video will be an hour long by the rate I'm going. So I'm going to end it here, guys. I hope you guys all have a great Monday. Yeah, I forgot to say the date. Today is Monday, July 19th. So I will see you tomorrow with my next little update. Hey, guys, today is Tuesday, July 20th, and I'm here for another little update. My PC feels under the weather. I feel you, PC. I feel you. Um, I'm a little under the weather myself today. <clears throat> My body is trying to fight off whatever virus Bill has. Yeah. Um, and my throat is really scratchy and not feeling well. But right now, that's it. So I'm hoping that stays it. Um, had off work today, which was nice. So I was able to get some stuff done <clears throat> and just relax and not have work to contend with. Although now I got to open all my tabs up again because, oi, Jesus. Bear with me for one second. I have what's called CC cleaner and it cleans up the computer and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So first off the heart and hand Halloween bird giveaway. I picked a winner and I picked Peggy Holland. I've already emailed her. She's already responded. I put it out in today's mail. So Peggy, thank you so much for being a subscriber and commenting and entering the contest or giveaway. Um, I love those little patterns. They're so very cute. So I did make a purchase today, a big purchase, not the DMC cabinet, I'm still waiting because so McKenna watched my video and she sent me a Facebook message because she got hers from Lovecrafts. It was $5.99 which is $100 more than the one on DMC's website. But first time people can get 20% off. So she only wound up paying like $544 total for it, which worth it. But I went there and they're sold out. So her video, she sold them. Her video convinced 
couple more people to go get them. So I will just, um, when it's meant for me to have it, I will have it. I was on Instagram this morning and someone had purchased the Dubco factory stand hoops holder for table and I was smitten. Now, I realize I have the Velky Pataki frame coming, but who says I can't have another one? No one. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it. Now, Dubco Factory is in Russia, and it takes seven weeks to get it, and you pay in advance. Um, the shipping was free. It was $236 for the stand. Yes, I know that's a little pricey. But I've seen, I watched a couple YouTube videos on it where people unboxed it. It looks fabulous. And this, so this, I wanted to show you a picture because the original one only hold, holds hoops. The clamp does. But I got this one where you can set your cue snap in the front here and it rests on it just so you're not holding it in your hand. Um, and someone actually, one of the videos I watched, they actually use this as sort of a lap stand. They put this in between their legs and they said the way the curves are, it fits your thighs really well. So I was very happy about that because I stitch nine times out of 10 in my recliner. So I will link this down below. Um, it will hold hoops from five millimeters to 19 millimeters wide. And like I said, with the additional arms, you can put stretcher bars, cue snaps, stuff like that on it. Um, metal knots allow to adjust the necessary height or reach the other side of the canvas. It's made of natural wood. I got production time is four to seven weeks paid by PayPal. It's free shipping and it's available in five colors. I got the dark blue, which is gorgeous. Oh, does it show you the different colors? No, it doesn't. Okay. That's what I bought today very excited to get it. Can't wait to get it. So I also have some stash that I bought. Got one of my orders from 123 Stitch in. And one of the patterns I bought was a Stony Creek pattern. I really like their patterns. Um, give thanks. Now, I would never stitch this on this kind of fabric. It just disappears, right? Um, absolutely disappears. I would be stitching it on something that would make those colors pop. I don't know what color, but not that one. What fabric do they use? It's only three colors. They use Weeks Dye Works Chestnut Marmalade and then DMC 310. They stitched it on, picture this plus, Cyprium. I guess they were going for that muted look. Like I said, I don't know what color I would stitch it on. Not that one. I do know it wouldn't be that one. Now, Emily C, Eclectic Possessions on YouTube. I follow her on Instagram as well. She has been stitching a Carolyn Manning design, CM Designs. That is like a solidly stitched piece and I've just been enamored with it. Like every time she posts progress, I'm like, oh my God. So the other night I decided to go and search out some of these patterns. They're books. I bought, I bought, this is only six. I bought more than six because I'm, I was going to say I'm a freak, but I'm a freak in a good way. Um, I bought more than this because and I had many more added in my cart that I had to like rein myself in. Like, dude, you can't spend $300 on Carolyn Manning patterns that um, you're not going to even stitch right away. So I'm going to show you the ones that I got and we're going to take a little peek inside because what's cool is that they are, it's a book. It is a book and it tells you how many stitches of each color on the back. I mean, it's very detailed. So the first one I got is fire. Is it agate, agate? These are all in the shooting star collection. Look at that. That is solidly stitched. So isn't it gorgeous though? Are you fucking kidding me right now? 
all cross stitch. Yeah, so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 colors in this one. Oh my God, can you even right now? And it did say, how come it doesn't say the size of it? It's got to somewhere, maybe on the back. Yeah, okay. They stitched it on 14 count Ada, folks. 14 count Ada. So on 14 count, it will be 13 and a half by 13 and a half, 16 count. They give you the different sizes. Um, I'll also be stitching it on 14 count for sure. And definitely probably Ada because, see, Ada to me, it makes my stitches look more uniform because Ada is a bit stiffer than even weave. I only stitch on even weave when it's not full coverage, right? I mean, I bought a bunch of hand dyed Joblin, so you wanna see the fabric. You're not gonna see any kind of fabric on this, so you could stitch this on whatever you want because you're not gonna see it. So I'll probably stitch it on Ada for sure. And it says, for those who start in the middle, no, I will be starting on the left because I guarantee you the pages I'm going to show you the first page because you're not going to be able to do anything with that. So do they, does she show you how you lay the pages out? It's 189 by 189. Hmm. Oh. Does it go to 180? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, they go, they're in the complete order. You just go straight across and then the smaller pages are the bottom. So here is the first page. I like the ease of this because you could just easily fold this and highlight this. It's like regular computer paper. So, I mean, there's the first page. Yeah. Um, but wait, do you see the other ones I got? I got some beautiful ones. I have to start stitching one. Even if I just did like... A little square a day you would eventually get it done this one I absolutely loved watermelon tourmaline oh my god can you even with that look at that one how many colors are in this one same size as the other one probably the same kind of colors I mean the same like number of colors gorgeous I will link Carolyn Manning Designs page from 123 Stitch down below because that's where I got all these. Okay, this one is Ruby. Is it the same size? I bet it is because they're all probably the same size. Oh, no. Oh, this one's smaller. <gasps> Ooh, I could actually finish this one in a reasonable amount of time because it is only... Wait a minute. What? Oh, so, oh, that's cool. Okay, I know, you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, here's the design. Oh my God, right? That's the whole design. However, she broke it up into four segments if you wanted to stitch them smaller. So this is 189 by 189, but each of these are 81 by 81. If you wanted to like give it a shot and say, would I even be able to do this? You can. Really, what I would suggest though, obviously, you better fucking highlight as you go along because I could see myself messing this up royally. But is that not gorgeous? You'd be sick of red though. All those reds, but oh my God. Okay, and then I got Tiger Eye, and she did the same thing. I love the ones that she split up. Oh, my throat. I love the ones that she split up into the four other designs because if you didn't want to commit to something giant, look at that. Oh, doesn't that just scream autumn? But look, so there's the big one, and then she broke it up into four different ones. I absolutely love that. Two more in this order because I bought more, but they're not, they haven't shipped yet. This one I think is smaller. This one, no, this one's bigger. <laughs> this one's bigger. 
This one is 242 by 242. 17 and a quarter by 17 and a quarter. Holy fucking moly. Um, but it's called Kaleidoscope Box of Crayons. Are you serious? You know I had to get that one. It's rainbow. Won't that look amazing? Mm-hmm. And then the last one, which I absolutely love also, in the Shooting Star Collection, this is Northern Lights. The colors in this one are just stunningly gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I wanted every single one of these that was in, that was on one, two, three stitches page. What I probably need to do, I need to go, and I will do that when I process this video, I'm gonna go and put all the other ones that I loved in my wish list. And what I should do is start um, putting my one, two, three stitch, a link to it, to my wish list on in my links. That way, if anybody wants to send me a stitching gift, you can. So that was my stash. I did get my Wayfair lamp, my floor lamp in, and it's gorgeous. I'll have to take you out there and show you. So I had originally purchased an, a lamp from Amazon, a floor lamp, and it was like 45 bucks. I canceled it because it looked cheap. Wayfair is the place to go. They have some amazing, amazing furniture and it's not too ridiculous. The floor lamp I wound up buying is rose gold, the base, and it was $95. Not bad. It's gorgeous. It is stunning. When Bill comes home, he's going to be like, what the fuck? Because I told him I was buying, buying a floor lamp, but I didn't tell him that it shipped or when it was supposed to be here. It's gorgeous. Okay. But I did do, even though I was feeling poopy last night, I did do a tiny bit of stitching on my Hocus Pocus coffee piece. Love this. Are you kidding? From the Just Cross Stitch um, Halloween issue. I got to pull out all my stuffs because everything's in the bag. And take the pattern off so I can show you. Remember, I'm stitching this on 28 count Sandcastle Joblin. And last night, I finished the H, so I did the gray around the H, and then I did the little spider. Okay, so the back stitch, if I didn't tell you, I'm doing it in black, Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid, and then also the spider's legs and his little web. And his eyes are white Mill Hill beads because they called for French knots and fuck no, I'm not doing French knots. Beads, isn't he cute though? It's coming along swimmingly so far. But yeah, I, I would have stitched longer. I just was not feeling well. So tonight I'm gonna aim to get the O done in Hocus. So it's gonna be like Ho and then a spider. Um, I love this fabric though. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's so gorgeous looking. So. That's it. That's my update. And I'm going to take you out there. I'm going to pause the video, take you guys out there so you can see the floor lamp because you got to see it. Okay. So I'm heading out there. This is where I do my diamond painting videos, tutorials sometimes. There's the lamp. Can you see it? Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm I'm curious what it's going to look like when it's dark because that's mainly the reason that I bought it is that, first of all, I don't like that overhead light on the uh, ceiling fan, but I bought it for if I ever want to diamond paint at night or if I'm diamond painting really early in the morning and it's pitch black outside still, like in the winter. I mean, in the winter here, we have a lot of days where it's like gloomy. So, but let me get up closer. I'll walk around this way so I can show you. It was very easy. It was all packaged very nice in the box. Everything was protected by um, foam um, and all every, every piece just screwed together. So the top of it, let me actually turn it off. Maybe I can, okay, there you can see a little bit better. The lampshade is glass and it's like um, patterned a little bit. I have a 100 watt bulb in there. And then the base is rose gold. So all these pieces, they just screwed together. It just looks like, and this is quite a tall lamp. And then there's the base. Oh my God, don't you love it? I love it so much. 
I am so glad. I mean, they had so many different types of floor lamps. It took me a good half hour to look through. They had one lamp that was $10,000 and I'm like, what the actual hell? No. But for $95, this was well worth it. I mean, it looks so good there. He's going to walk in and be like, huh? Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this segment here. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. So today is, what's today? Wednesday, July 21st. And I'm feeling worse. Yeah. Um, you know, usually like the second or third day of a cold is the worst. So I'm hoping today is the worst of it. Um, day quill helps. But yeah, today was like, uh, like, no, I'm not putting on makeup or fixing my hair. I literally brushed it and put it up in the clip. Like, are you kidding me right now? I'm so thankful my job ended early. It's one o'clock here and I just got done work. So I'll be able to, after I film this, be able to go and sit down for the rest of the day and maybe take a nap, eat a little something. I might eat an apple. Yeah, I have had, it's been so long since I've had a cold that I forgot how miserable it really is. Um, God, I feel like I look like death. My God. Yeah. Um, the power of makeup. I mean, yeah. Okay. Moving on. So I just checked the mail and I got two things in that I had ordered. I ordered some fabric from Stony Creek and I ordered some of their Jobelin Ada. So I'm not sure why it's called Jobelin Ada because, well, it feels like it's softer than regular Ada. And, but it's still 14 count Ada. So this color is thyme, like the spice. A nice neutral. I like it. Yeah. A nice neutral color. It's like a, got a green tint to it. I feel like it would be really good for like Halloween. Yeah. And I figure what I'll do is um, the stitching vlog. Maybe I'll film like Monday through Friday and then put it up on Saturday. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see. I might even get, I think once I get downstairs and sit down, I'm not going to be moving. Like I was like, oh, I'll do some stitching. I'll probably be sleeping. Yeah. And I hate when the bag has air in it. Yeah. We're having grilled cheese and tomato soup tonight for dinner. Um, I actually got some Panera bread makes their tomato soup, their creamy tomato soup. And it is, um, in like the refrigerated section. So I got some of that. Okay. This one is Sandcastle. So this is a similar color to what I'm working on with Hocus Pocus. I just really loved it. It's a really good, like I said, a really nice neutral. And these are all fat quarters. So 18 by 27. How they fold them is weird. And then the last one I got is Lavender Sunset, which is very, very pretty. I remember stitching. I stitched the Celtic Spring, Celtic Spring from Lavender and Lace on this fabric. And I remember going into the stitching post, realizing there was a stitching store that was within driving distance and I about died and um, bought the pattern and all the supplies there. And it was a good day. This has like purple and green and, and like a light pink. It's very pretty. But yeah, um, the fabric is, like I said, softer, not as scratchy as regular Ada. Maybe they're, I don't know why they call it Joblin Ada. Because Joblin is even weave. And why can't I fucking fold this properly? Okay, I got it now. All right, so one more purchase. I bought a new project bag. Now I have like 8,000 project bags. I've given away a lot. I've given away a bunch of Christmas presents and stuff. And um, 
I really didn't need any more, but I wanted a big one like my big clear one. So on Etsy, this is uh, Studio 88 West. I will link it down below in the description box. I paid $33 for this bag, and by the time tax and shipping came to $40.98. It's pretty big. Um, what's the size of it? It doesn't say. It just says large. I want to say it's 16 by 16, but look, it's the Monopoly money. And look at the back. Oh my God, don't you love it? I love it. I love it so much. I love the Monopoly money on the inside of it and on the bottom and on the handle is the back. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I just loved it so much. So that was all my purchases. Still have like two orders from 123 Stitch. Outstanding. And then progress. So I didn't get too much done last night on the stitching piece because not feeling well and I had taken NyQuil at like seven o'clock so I was in bed by 9 30 last night and remember the piece I'm working on is out of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue it's this one don't you love it and I'm stitching mine on Sandcastle Joblin oh by the way I found these bags online I don't know how long it's going to take me to get them because I have a feeling it's coming from China. But I ordered like five of them because I just, I can't find them in my Dollar Tree. And they just, I just love them so much for organizing floss and stuff for a project. Uh, yeah, remember I'm stitching it on Sandcastle Joblin, which I love. And I got the O done. Ho! Yeah. So I would have kept going. If I would have felt better and didn't have a cold, I would have done this C also last night. But yeah, so I'm going to aim to do the C tonight. A little bit at a time, it will get done. Um, because once I get over, once I do like C-U-S, then I'm going to do the spider web here and attach, like fill this in, like attach the, and start going down here. Cause there's a spider off of the web over here. But yeah, I want to make sure I don't mess it up because the spider web, what I should do is after I do the S on Hocus, come down and do the S for Pocus because the spider web connects to that S too. Do you know what I mean? Like there are ways to kind of fudge it when you have all this back stitch. Like I know this is not perfectly how it was gridded on there. I just kind of went with it because I'm sitting there counting it. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? You can't tell though, right? No, because it looks good. But yeah, I'm loving the little spider with his white beaded eyes. It's going to look so good. Now, what will really be interesting to see is when I get down to the word coffee because I changed all the colors. The word coffee <clears throat> is in all over dyed threads that I picked. So we'll see. But yeah, that's all the update I got for today. And I hope I'm feeling better. Like I said, I'm gonna go rest. I'm gonna sit downstairs, have something to eat, read my book, relax. I don't have to do anything the rest of the day except watch and see if we have a job for tomorrow because right now we don't. So if we don't have a job tomorrow, I will not be upset because, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I will see you okay. tomorrow. Okay, I am still fearing, fearing, wow, my brain, feeling quite poorly. Yeah, um, my work day, my job just ended, thank God. It's 3.15 here on Thursday, July 22nd. I did stitch last night. I was like, fuck this cold. I'm going to stitch anyway, right? So, <coughs> oh my God. Um, I did work on my Hocus Pocus piece. And I'm going to show you what I got done. I got done. C-U-S. How about those apples? Yeah, I just was like going gangbusters. So tonight, I'll probably do... The S down here in folk in on Pocus and then do the the web and try to go across here too. 
And you know, I've just been getting back into cross stitch from a pretty long hiatus, in my opinion, from it. And I look around and I'm like, what am I fucking doing with all my finishes? Um, I know like so many people finish them onto things. Where do you put all that stuff? Like I look around my house and I'm like, I don't know what to do with my finishes. Um, I'm thinking literally that I'm going to have to do stuff that I can make into a scrapbook layout or do something really big as one of my whips that will take me a while to finish. Because I'm like, okay, do people store seasonal pieces? I'm guessing that's what you do. I did, I looked around my house, my walls are filled. I mean, you can see, unless I start taking stuff down and putting some stuff in storage and putting new stuff up, like what the fuck am I doing with all of these cross stitch finishes? But I did wanna show you a couple projects that I wanna get started with. So I wanna start this one the coffee first and I have this awesome bag for it like are you kidding yeah I want to have a couple whips that I can just like rotate I know I've tried it before and I never stick with it but I really want to try it and then of course my um Shannon Christine designs hocus pocus you know the Halloween club thingy and then I do want to start, I want to start one of those um, Carolyn Manning designs. So I pulled them out. Now, I did a bad, bad thing. Oh, I did a bad, bad thing last night. I ordered like a whole fucking shit ton of these. <laughs> and I still have so many left on my wish list. Um, she had a bunch on sale, one, two, three stitch did. So I decided to go ahead and get a bunch. So I'm sitting here and I'm lo looking through and I'm like, I think I want to start this one. Isn't it just, it uses 995. That's like probably my favorite DMC color, the bright blue. And it's got purple in it. Like, are you kidding me right now? Now I did order the amethyst one. It was either that one or this one. Cause I just love that pink in that one. But I really love this one. This will take me a hot fucking minute to get done. So I think I'm going to, and I can just pick literally any piece of fabric because it's solidly stitched. So yeah, I'm going to start that, I think. Um, and then I was going to also start, because I have so many patterns, it's, it's just craziness. I was also going to start this and just pick my own floss colors. I like that one too. And then also this one for Halloween. I saw somebody, uh, Java Girl Stitches, finish this one, I think. It looked so cute. I have all the floss for it. So I think I have enough project bags. That's all that I was going to do. However many project bags I had, I was going to fill with projects. So, yeah. That's all I got. I got nothing in the mail today. And I'm feeling uh, horrible. So I'm going to finish up my work day and go downstairs and relax and I will see you guys tomorrow probably. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably upload this whole thing on Saturday. So you'll have Monday through Friday progress. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Friday, July 23rd and this will be the last segment for this vlog. I figure Monday through Friday is enough, right? I am feeling better today. Um, definitely not 100%. I mean, yesterday I think was the worst day. And I'm still like, uh, uh, now I'm coughing my head off. So I like will be coughing for a couple of days, I'm sure. Um, but I started to feel better. My job was over at like four o'clock yesterday. And I started to feel better. Um, like in the evening a little bit <coughs> and uh, when I got up today a lot better than I was yesterday so I'm thinking thank God today's Friday I'm thinking by Monday you know I'll be good to go I did stitch last night and I actually got quite a bit done 
what was I watching? I was actually watching Floss Tube. I've started to watch Floss Tube again. We know what the project is. It's the same one I've been working on all week out of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween. And once again, I need to, I lost my needle somehow and don't know where that went. So yeah, I'll be finding that somehow with my ass or my foot or something, you know. Uh, I got done. Yeah, I got done the S down here, which then allowed me to do the web. And then I decided to just go, I just counted and went all the way around and did the whole border. So now the whole border is done. And then the spider with their little beaded eyes, it's coming along good. I really like it. And this will be small enough that I can do this in a scrapbook layout. So that's going to be my plan for that. And I'm going to do Hello Summer. Remember I said I was going to um, frame it? I'm not. I'm going to do a scrapbook layout because i got no fucking wall space. I mean, seriously right now. And I just realized I need to highlight that other little spider. Um, yeah, I'm a highlighter. I highlight everything. I don't care how easy the pattern is. Yeah, I, I, but I'm going to do scrapbook layout, which is going to be a lot of fun. I picked out a packet of stuff in bright colors. So when that comes in, I will definitely do a video showing how I do that because a lot of you like to see that. And I think actually tonight, because I did some organization around um, my house as far as my cross stitch stuff. So I'll have to take you guys around and show you because um, just trying to get a little bit more organized than I was. So I have, this is my Harry Potter bag that I got on Etsy. I don't remember the seller. I don't remember that kind of stuff usually. Um, I bought this a long time ago. But yeah, that I have, this is what I'm going to start tonight. I also have my favorite lamp in every color. I literally have five of these. I have two black. And then when they came out with other colors, I have teal, pink, red. That's all the colors they got. I bought them all. Um, I'm going to be starting this. Mouse's Halloween Stitching from Tiny Modernist. Now, I'm using all of the called for colors, which are Weeks Dye Works, except moss when I bought the floss they didn't have moss and I just rhymed yeah <laughs> oh my god I can't right now <laughs> yeah um I'm going to be using hunter instead of moss so yeah that should be a lot of fun and what's nice is when I first bought this pattern and was going to do it it didn't have like I forget what's the fabric they call for they call for Water Lily by Witchell, which is like a light green color. And I didn't have anything like that. But not realizing when I bought the Joblin Ada Time, it's like a green. So I'm going to be stitching this on there because look at all that loveliness. That's going to go very well on there. So, oh, my needle minder is a Ouija planchette. Is that what you call that? But yeah, I realized... You know, it's been a long time since I've had, like, multiple whips. Usually I'm a one-time-at-a-project person because I get anxiety about having all these projects unfinished. But I really want to just work on different stuff and be able to show you guys different stuff in the vlog. So I'm going to be having, what, one, two, three, four, five, six projects? Yeah. And I realized that, besides the lamp, which I almost could have six of these... Um, you need a needle minder, which I got a fucking shit ton of those, but I need like, you know, a pair of scissors for each bag. Yeah. So I bought some more scissors from one, two, three stitch because my favorite scissors, and I need to put this downstairs. My favorite scissors are actually the, um, are these and they, I bought every one they had in stock. I bought five pairs. Are these the ones that are like, they have pink and purple. I love the case on it. These are great scissors. And they're not that expensive. So I'm going to be, I bought some more of those. 
and one of my subscribers said that they are sending me a bunch of these bags oh my god thank you yeah even though I did buy some uh, that's okay I'll I'll have a bunch I don't care because I absolutely love those bags so that's it um I did buy some patterns today from Top Knot Stitcher Abby oh my god she's so nice I met her in person at the floss tube retreat um, I bought some patterns from her site today. I bought two patterns from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery because they now do printed patterns. Because I don't have a color printer anymore, I like to actually do the printed patterns if I can. So they have two new releases, which are, let me show you. Ow! I thought I just broke my fingernail. Let me pull up really quick. There are two new patterns, and I'll show you. And I'll show you, of course, when they come in the mail. Um, yeah, we're on a lunch break now, so that's why I'm able to new. They have Sparkle Wherever You Go, and you know I had to buy that one. The little unicorn is just too much. Look at this little guy. Oh, my God, can you even... Is he not like the cutest thing ever? Yeah. And the other new one they have, I really like too. A candy a day. A candy a day keeps the monsters. <coughs> Told you, coughing my goddamn head off. A candy a day keeps the monsters away. Oh my God, yes. And it's only five by five. See, I... I really do gravitate towards smaller patterns because then I can do them scrapbook layout without a problem. Um, now, you will see me, I don't think you've seen me do a scrapbook layout with fabric though. All I do is I take mat board, like the sticky mat board, which I ordered by the way, the sticky mat board, put it around it, miter the corners to make them really sharp and tight, and then I just spray adhesive on the back and glue it onto the scrapbook page. It's pretty simple. And... I try to make it as flat as I can so I can, and I'll usually like mat it with paper or even put sometimes, I need to get some of that pom-pom trim because I could even put that around it if I really wanted to. I actually have, here's one that I did. I'll show you real quick. Why not? This is one that I did. This is fabric. So see how I mitered the corners really good? I practiced. Like I literally took fabric and just cardboard, mat board. But yeah, that's a scrapbook layout I did. This is on canvas, but I did. And that's, yeah, I stitched that a couple years ago. But didn't that turn out good? Felt scrapbook paper. And then I also did this one, which this is probably my favorite one. This was, um, I got this from Pam. Uh, Steph and Pam just keep stitching. She had this pattern. This is like a Lizzie Cape that was discontinued or limited edition. She sent me the pattern as a gift because I really wanted it. But we took this picture. This was my last day of chemo. And um, we took that picture and I wanted to do a scrapbook layout with it. So, yeah, I mean, that's Ada. Again, I just, you know, uh, when I put the fabric, you know, sticky board, put it on the back, miter the corners, which I can show how I do that. Um, it's not hard. It just takes some practice. But I'm really funny, like, I wanted those corners, like, perfect. And if you miter it properly, you can get it perfect like that. So, I did those two and really, really enjoyed that. And, yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to flip you guys around so I can show you some organization I did. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, you guys know that I use mainly... <coughs> excuse any coughing. I use mainly my two Ikea carts for organization, right? So I moved, I had like scrapbook stuff here. I moved it so I could put all my whip bags there because I'm going to have a project in a bag. But I, that's the next project I want to do. That's the witch at the beach. And then down here I have like my rainbow gallery petite braid, the lamps, those tur rechargeable lamps. I moved all my perforated paper down here, and you'll see what I did with the things. I used to have them in magazine holders. And then that's all my fabric. 
except there's all my Joblin. That's where I'm going to keep the Joblin at. So then over here is where it's a little bit different. So this table used to be over there by the window. This was like a plant table. I used to have the perforated paper in these magazine organizers, but I decided to put my patterns in here because it's much easier for me to flip through. There's no organization as far as like by designer, except here are all of my um, Carolyn Manning designs patterns because I have a bunch more coming. So I'm definitely going to need like a big thing for those. But I just tried to put like the bigger ones here, the smaller ones here, and then right here. So if you guys watch Java Girl Stitches, she bought this sign from Hobby Lobby that says floss. Now it's made for like the bathrooms, like flossing your teeth, but it had a pink background and the word floss. And I'm like, I have to have that. It was like $4.99 on Hobby Lobby. So I ordered that and that's coming soon. And I'm going to put that right there next to my coffee cash box. And let me tell you what's so funny about this box. So a subscriber got this for me, which is awesome. Absolutely love it. I had a bunch of ones in it, right? And when Bill gets a dollar bill, he'll put it in there. Well, we played bingo in honor of my grandmother on Mother's Day at my mom's house, and I needed one. So I took all the ones I had, all the money I had out of this box that was empty. The other day, now mind you, Mother's Day was like May 10th. Bill just noticed <coughs> that it was empty. And he's like, no, that can't be. So he went in his wallet and he had a couple dollar bills. And I think that's even a five. Like he put a five in there. He's like, you got to have money in it. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was so cute though. But okay. So then out here, I moved some stuff around. This used to be up here because see that empty space? I am manifesting the DMC vintage cabinet. That's where it's going to go when I get it. I will be getting it whenever it comes back in stock. Whenever it comes back in stock, Bill's like, just buy it. So I'm either at Lovecrafts or DMC, but I wanted a space for it because my previous cabinet, which I'll have to go and show you, is in my um, office closet. I said, I told Bill, I said, I need to have a bigger space because I would not be able to like access the box enough. So... It's going to go right there. Plenty of space. And I put all my scrapbook pages in my scrapbook. So now I'm just waiting to finish some other ones so I can put those up there. Because what was here was this was this was up there. So I moved that down here. <coughs> this was what well, this was over there, too. So I moved that there. That is my uh, Xyron creative station where I put like adhesive on the back of stuff. But another thing that I did organize was my floss, my specialty floss. So I have, I don't have like a huge collection, but I do have a couple color and cotton, fiberlicious, and then thread works. What I did was I got those like, you know, those rings you can put bobbins on. That's what I did. And I just, I don't have them in any order. It's just keeping them. And then here I have classic color works, weeks dye works, and um, gentle art sampler threads. It's just so they're not, they were all like mixed up and jumbled in there. Yeah, no, 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 no. So I feel very productive today considering the last couple days have just been me feeling like crap and not doing anything. So let me show you the cabinet that Bill got me from Hirschner's for Christmas like I don't know, a long time ago, and then I had had used. So this is it. The bottom drawer is missing. Don't know where the hell that is. <coughs> and I want to say this cabinet was like $100, but like I have little rubber bands in there, needles and needle cases, needle point stuff, bobbins, and then up here was like magnets for needle minders. So you're supposed to, because this came with dividers, if you look, if you see the slits in the back, you're supposed to be able to put, this was for DMC, but then I had this. So somebody wanted to know 
how I organize my DMC. Let me pull this out. This is, and I will link it down below. I want to say it's Creative Solutions. It's a double-sided case. And the entire set, minus the new, the new colors, the newest ones. But this is the great bulk of my DMC. And then I, it's, like I said, double-sided. So, yeah. <coughs> That's what I use. Now, when I get the vintage cabinet, first of all, this is probably going to go bye-bye because everything that's in this cabinet, I'll be able to put, like, there's a top shelf in that vintage cabinet where you can put supplies. I'm going to see if I can't, I don't know, I might keep this in here, only because it does hold a couple things. Um, but I definitely want to put, I'm definitely going to probably put my DMC in there. I mean, it's going to come with an entire set. <coughs> Oh my God, it's going to come with an entire set of DMC. So I should put my DMC in there, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to end here before <coughs> I hack my lungs up here. Let me take a drink of water. But okay, guys, I'm going to end this. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything all week that I had to show my progress. So you can see the progress on Hocus Pocus and all that. So, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.